Good morning. Uh, this is Raoul Bichet from Raoul Bichet Photography, and this is Bichet Tech Tip of the Week. Um, I'm sorry I've been away for a while, but I've been really busy uh, with some other projects that I just finished with. And uh, we're going to talk today about a few things, and hopefully we'll be able to do a short and useful tutorial. Again, you can reach me at raouf at raoufbichet.com, or you can reach me at raoufbichet at gmail.com. Again, I'm a member of Brompton Photo Club, and it's one of the best organization in Indiana. Um, if you want to belong to our photo club, please just go visit us as http Blumpton photoclub.org you can find in there how you can join us and you're welcome to join some of our general meeting or some of our focus group and learn about us and become a member i really highly encourage you to do that and by the way this is just a side note um all the tech tip that i'm presenting in here is not necessarily something that i just sit down in there with years and years of experience that i got in all of them are used because I'm trying to do a particular task and I couldn't figure it out maybe or uh, I found different ways to do it and I was trying to seek the best way to be able to do that particular task. Well, once I figured it out, uh, I just did it a couple of times. Now, the problem is uh, I do not work in Photoshop all the time. So with the way I search for them, I search through all kind of different tech tab, all kind of different YouTube and so forth. And then you find what you have, because here is, here is the problem. The problem is you may, you may check 10 or 20 item before you find the right item that you would like to do. Uh, now Photoshop has 101 way to do things. Um, but once I found something, then I use it once and I'm happy with it, that's fine. Maybe use it a couple of times. And then later on in life, I try to do it again, and I forgot about it, so I start again from the beginning. So this tech tab not only serves for you guys to be able to learn this stuff, but actually it's a collection of tech tips for myself. So a lot of times I will go back to my YouTube channel. It has in it all the tech tips that I use in daily basis or in sometimes when I use it. And even if I forgot it, I have a video for it, and that's how I do that. So just to give you a quick idea about what's happening. Um, today, we're going to talk about taking a photograph and making some artwork from it. And the way I choose it is this time, I choose a photograph that I took it through a cell phone, and then I modified it and I make it in as a piece of artwork that can be used for any number of things. So without further ado, let's go in and see what we have. This is a photograph of an orchid that I took with my cell phone as a micro shot, uh, I use an iPhone um, uh, 13 Pro Max, uh, but honestly, truly, I have looked at some of my iPhone photos, and some of them that I took back as iPhone 10 or X, uh, it was pretty good and pretty useful for a lot of things, and hopefully I'll show some of them um, during some session or the other. So anyhow, so we have the photo, the, the photo in here that we brought up, and the very first thing we're gonna do is, I wanna create a white background for this. I found an easy way to do this is to go ahead and select my, uh, just select the whole thing by have, having had command, or for, for command A that selected the whole thing or control A for window, okay? And then I am gonna go and do file, new, and I wanna create an image or I create something from a clipboard and I want it to be white. I want to make sure that this is white and I'm going to say create. So it creates a white background that the same size as my photograph. But since I'm going to try to do a few things with that, I want to actually increase that size. So I'm just going to increase it to about 200%. I'm just going to go in there and say image, image size, make sure this is percentage and I want to make it at 200 width and 200 height. I'm going to say okay and that's what I have. Command zero, it will again fit it in the window. All right, in this case, I'll go to my first image in here. I will select my moving tool and I will simply drag it. And while I'm holding the left mouse button key, I'm going to go to my document and drop it. So that's just as simple as this. I'm going to 
try to center it or put it somewhere where I think it's going to be where I want it to be. All right. From here, I want to... You, you remember me talking about before about the pivot point. I'm going to keep my pivot point in the center for this particular project. But I want to turn my image. So I'm going to make sure I'm selected in here. And I'm going to turn my image about this much. All right. Now, once I turn it a little bit, I'm going to hit return or enter in window. And I have it in here um, in the angle that I want it. From here, it's very simple. Again, if you remember my tech tab about duplicating item or rotating item, I'm going to hold shift, option, command, or shift, alt, control, uh, alt um, in window. And then I'm going to do the letter T as in Tom. And as I do that, it rotate my image. And let's say I just want, this is the, this is what I expect my image to be, for example. I'm going to let it go at this time. So again, Shift, Option, Command, and Mac. All right. Or Shift, Alt, Control, and Window. All right. So now that I have the image in here, what do I do with it? I really want to merge all this as one image because that's all what I wanted to do with this one. So I'm going to go in here and do layer and merge. Now I have all my images merged together as one image. All right, so far it looks pretty interesting, but I want it to be even more interesting. So I'm going to go in there and grab another picture, which happened to be, this is a background stock that I got free from Adobe. And I'm going to just drag it on the top of my photograph. All right, I'm going to resize this so it can actually cover the whole surface that I'm working with. Okay. And from here, the rest is really very simple. I just start blending them together. So I can blend it in dark. And this is what I got. Or I can blend it in you can just start working with your blend mode to find out which effect you want. And as you moving around, <coughs> you can see the different effect. So in this case, I like um, maybe not the dark in color this time. I don't know. Let me see. How about if we do the dark in color? So right here, this is what I have. Command O again. And then I can... If I want to, I can actually merge both layers, all right? So I can go back again to um, <coughs> layers, <coughs> excuse me, and merge visible. I can resize this if I want to, to make it just, I do a little cropping, you know, to crop it tight or whatever the case is that you want to do. And that's your final image. And you just can save it as JPEG or as RAW file, BST, whatever the case is. So it's very simple. It's taking one orchid picture that I took with my cell phone, put a background to it, merge it together after we turn it and twist it a little bit. Obviously, that does not look like orchid anymore. And you can see some of this artifact colors, uh, how it looks like, like something gets explored out of this or whatever the case is. Very simple, very clear, and write um, some kind of an artwork, I guess. You can use that for T-shirt, greeting card, whatever the case is. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for attending. I will uh, make this presentation alive as a tech tab in the next meeting that I have for the creative group. And I can tell you the date, because I should have it in here. And um, that's going to be in July 14th at 7 o'clock. If you are interested to see it live, to see the demo live, when I'm presenting the tech tab and you may have questions or whatever the case is, I encourage you to put that date again. That's July 14th, 2022 at 7 p.m. It's going to be Zoom. 
uh, so you can attend it doesn't matter where you are um, just send me an email message or go to our website and request to attend that particular meeting and someone will, will respond to you and let you know uh, with the information for the Zoom. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy it and you learned something and if you have any question just let me know. Thanks again. Have a great day.